Hello, greetings from Boonri TV. Today's history topic is the doctor who made two-headed dogs. Yes, it's a true story. There was no such doctor other than him. He was a pioneer surgeon in the medical field who operated on different animals. Who was he? What's his life story? Take a look. This person's name is Vladimir Demikhov. He is a doctor and a scientist. Vladimir was born on July 18, 1916. He was born in Soviet Union. This was when many countries of Europe and Asia were together as one. His parents were peasants living a simple life. When he was 3 years old, his father died, after which his mother struggled to provide good education for her children. After he completed his education, he got a job and began working at a university where he started his research work. He was doing many experiments on animals which had never been done before by any other scientist or doctor, but yet he was not acclaimed globally. Later, he performed an experimental surgery on a dog. In the surgery, he attached the head of one dog to another the operated animal then had one body but two heads the news of this surgery had spread all over like wildfire how did he do that watch ahead in 1954 Vladimir took a small puppy and cut its head and four legs He took another big adult dog and then grafted both the heads together When the multiple dog regained consciousness after the operation the puppy's head woke up and yawned the big head gave it a puzzled look as it didn't recognize the other head so he tried at first to shake it off the puppy's head gave the ear of its host a nasty bite and the adult dog head snarled the two headed dog lived their life together conjoined like this is one after 6 days the two headed dog died with time and experience vladimir conducted several other such experiments of joining two animals and their body parts and then the survival rate of the animals improved until one hybrid dog survived for 29 days he kept achieving success in his experiments when news of vladimir's pioneering surgeries spread throughout the world it raised many eyebrows and even more ethical questions regarding the acceptance of such procedures and their true medical need he had to face a lot of criticism but demikhov did not budge the final goal of his experiments was to make transplantation of the heart and other organs in humans possible he was aiming clearly for the future but do you know this was not his first surgery there were other experiments that he had conducted before what were they take a look In the year 1937 when Vladimir was still a student and had not even completed his education at the age of 21 the young Vladimir had shocked his professors by creating the first artificial heart which performed pumping functions just like a real heart would then He successfully implanted the artificial heart into a dog. The dog lived with it for 5 hours but later died. 
Vladimir also went on to perform other successful experiments on cats and dogs as transplantation surgeries. Some of the animals, such as cats and dogs, survived for a longer period than before. Some survived for a month, while one dog with a transplant even survived for seven years after surgery. He continued doing many experiments like these. Another surgeon then from South Africa named Christian Bernard was inspired by Vladimir's experimental research. He studied Vladimir's experiments and later he went on to perform the world's first successful transplantation. It was something that was never done before by any other doctor. He transplanted an organ from a person who had just died from a head injury. He took his human heart and transplanted it into another person's body and this was a pioneer success. Bernard never took credit for his success. He said it was Vladimir's efforts that had actually deserved recognition from whom he was inspired to try out on his own and it was a success for him. He praised Vladimir's efforts. Later, Vladimir died on November 22, 1988 at the age of 82. It was only after his death that he was acclaimed for his contributions in the medical field. Today, because of his pioneering efforts and research, doctors are able to save lives of many people whose lungs, heart or kidneys have failed.